It is now official. We have some breaking news this morning. Alaska Airlines has completed its acquisition of Hawaiian Airlines, marking the historic beginning of a new partnership that will reshape the travel industry. Chris Shawnick joins us now live from the Daniel K. Noah International Airport with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, Sarah and Sam, and everybody on this Aloha Wednesday. Historic Wednesday for the airlines as this merger has finally been completed after nine months of negotiations between Alaska Airlines and Hawaiian Airlines. And benefits also going to be starting today and being rolled out within the next couple months. So as I step out of the way, you can see we're here live at the Daniel Kanoi International Airport Hawaiian uh, uh, Lobby 2 check-in area uh, where the, you're going to be seeing the benefits already. Now, being rolled out effective today, your mileage plan and Hawaiian miles return retain their full value. Uh, you earn them and they will be more valuable than ever across these two platforms. Now, all Alaska Lounge members will get, get more access uh, when they're flying Hawaiian as well as Alaska. They'll also be celebrating Hawaiian million milers. Uh, they're acknowledging their big uh, benefits from that. Uh, also, in the coming weeks, uh, you'll be able to transfer miles between Alaska and Hawaiian loyalty accounts to redeem award travel. You'll also be able to, in the coming months, buy tickets for flights on both airlines on both websites. They'll also be introducing a new travel program just for those who live in Hawaii called Huaka'i. And earlier we talked with the brand new CEO, Joe Sprague, and this is what he had to say about this new program. I want this to be the best possible airline combination for customers, and especially customers right here in Hawaii. In fact, one of the things that we'll be introducing starting today will be a new program just for residents of Hawaii. We're calling it Huaka'i by Hawaiian, and it'll be a, a program that will offer outstanding benefits for traveling neighbor island as well. And so it's, uh, it's something different and something that will show our commitment to the people of Hawaii. Okay. And more benefits for the locals. So they're also, uh, they're still not completely uh, done with the merger. They still have to wait for FAA certification so they can all uh, work, uh, both airlines can work under one uh, certificate. Uh, that'll be working within the next 18 months. But a lot of optimism and a lot of excitement. But right now, uh, there's also one thing that has never been done in uh, airline history is these two brands are, these two brands are gonna. Uh, retain the brands. They're not going to change, not Hawaiian going to Alaska or Alaska to Hawaiian. They'll both be Alaska Airlines and Hawaiian Airlines, but under one company. We'll also have more details on our website at kchuan2.com. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii Live from the Daniel K. Noy International Airport. Sending things back to you. Chris, mahalo for that live report. Now, with the combination of the airlines, Alaska becomes the fifth largest airline in North America. Alaska says the acquisition would create a fleet of 365 airplanes, reaching 138 destinations. The airline is also part of the One World Alliance and works with other airline partners to give travelers access to more than 1,200 destinations around the globe. In our next hour, Chris Latronic will be live at the airport with more reaction.